This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the opening uh, ceremonies uh, reception at the AACA Museum of Micro and Mini Car Exhibit. And we're going to take a quick walk about a few of the interesting cars. This is a 1955 Messerschmitt KR200. It's powered by a Saks uh, 101cc engine, it's three wheels. Uh, powered through the rear and the whole top hinges as you see to the right to accommodate its occupants. Post-war Germany was a total disaster trying to rebuild and either they had very very high-end cars such as still BMW and Mercedes but in order to survive a lot of companies switched to micro cars which was quite common in post-war Europe. You can see how tight that seating is. That's the back seat. Glove box. Notice the steering. It's handlebar steering controlling the front wheels, of course. Very simple. We're going to take a walk back. This one has the bubble top. really pretty cool. It's capable of doing a little bit over 60 miles an hour and returned about 80 some odd miles per gallon. Can you imagine seeing this thing coming down the road? Just absolutely mind-boggling. This was uh, post-war Europe and post-war Germany where things were coming out which are just unusual. When you come to see this exhibit, you'll see uh, a lot of examples of cars like this. I'm going to zoom in on the motor, so bear with me a few minutes. Let's see what we can see here. You can see the muffler. You can see the way how it's a single swing arm underneath. There's the motor transmission coming back from the motor. And now I have to get up gracefully. <laughs> this is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the AACA Museum in Hershey, Pennsylvania at their opening of their new exhibit of micro and mini cars. Make sure that you put this on your calendar to see all sorts of cool cars like this. This is, uh, and of course, check NortheastWheelsEvents.com uh, in the north, SoutheastWheelsEvents.com in the south, and UKWheelsEvents.com uh, over in UK, and now GlobalWheelsEvents.com for all over. <laughs> I probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> Now with the bubble top though, uh, that's highly unusual. Usually it's a um, solid top. Uh, no, that's, that's normal. I mean, they're usually clear. Blue is a little strange. Oh, okay. The 201 is a full convertible. Ah. Do you want a picture of me or no? No, I'm getting you right now in oh, the video. Oh, oh, your video? Yeah. Oh, I'm good with this stuff. I, I sneak in because there's some good stuff. I want to get you opening the, the door. The dome is normal. That's a dome top. Uh-huh. Then they have, a, which is just this, when the dome top goes bad, they right. make a convertible kit, but this frame stays. Oh, okay. But the 201 is a true convertible where everything is gone except for a small windshield. Uh-huh. How many of those 201s were built? Not a lot of 201s. There, there's the one you want, other than a tire, which is a four-wheel. Yeah. Then you could retire, but oh, and that's they made it. them in a in a in a in a dome or a convertible. Also. Or a convertible. Now uh, you were saying single cylinder sax. It's a one cylinder sax, two stroke. Very good, and of course in the rear with a swing axle. Uh, it's a it's a swing arm like a swing motorcycle. Arm. Yeah. Chain drive. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a ratchet four speed ratchet shift, like a motorcycle. It's oh, interesting. You have four speeds in forward and four speeds in reverse. Oh geez. Now how do you control stroke, the um, two stroke spins either way. Right. You back up, you shut the engine off and start it backwards. How do you start it backwards? You turn the key the other way. You shut the engine off. Yeah. Wait for the engine to stop. Right. You turn the key the other way and the engine starts backwards, you got four speeds in reverse. Oh jeez. So That's to back amazing. up it takes forever to get into a tight parking space. 
Oh my god. There's two lights on the dash. One light means you're going forward, two lights means you're going reverse. Oh jeez. And it's 25 to 1 oil. It's uh, There's no mosquitoes around. There's, it leads to smoke screen. Uh huh. You go up a hill, people back off. Oh gosh. Well, that is. Third light beam. <laughs> Dead the, meat. You're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. the, uh, the museum in uh, Madison, Georgia always advertised their rally and their sh we used to all get together. And at the very end of the brochure was Mosquito Control by Sachs. Oh, perfect. Well, my father had the um, old Saab with the uh, three cylinder okay. two cycle. Okay. So we know it quite well. Yeah, oh, quite 25 well. 25 to 1. That's, that's five and a half ounces of oil per gallon. Oh, and it gosh. takes 40 weight. It was hard to find it. Really? I found 40 weight of oil. It's a heavy oil. And believe me, you push it up. You only start them in the garage once. You push them outside to start them. Oh, out couldn't even imagine oh, that one. Oh, you the garage with smoke. Jeez. Now, uh, shifting. Uh, is it a pedal or a, a um, shaft uh, No, it's, it's stick? a lever on this coming out of the side. Okay. You have a regular clutch brake and gas pedal. Right. Okay. And you just go, it's like a motorcycle. You go to first, mm -hmm. then neutral's between first and second. You go yep. to first, then you ratchet second, third, and fourth. Now, is this a motorcycle transmission, actually? I believe so. Okay. Well, Saks used to make scooters. Yes. Yes. Uh, well, there's a ratchet shift to go from fourth to first. You have to go all the way back through the gears. Right. And then for neutral, you go to first, pull a, pull a little lever on the handle, and just shake it a little bit back and forth, and that puts it in neutral between first and second gear, like a motorcycle. This is amazing. Now, how did you come across this Mesher Schmidt? Uh, a friend of mine got me into this disease. Uh huh. And he took me for a ride in one, and that was the last I remember I had, I had to own one. I, three weeks later, I owned one. Jeez. And I, I wanted a Messerschmitt, and he has, what, five of them. And I sold my ankle, and he decided to, that he was selling one or two, so I bought this off him. Uh-huh. And between the Isetta and the Gogomobiles, my wife says they're a disease. Yes. And well, you, you come from a lot of heavy horsepower, yes. too. Yes, we have, we, have a, we have a ball. Yeah. We go to rallies every year. Uh huh. And it's just a family affair. My wife, my wife, my son, his wife, my daughter, the grandkids. We all go together. Oh. It's all. We do cruise nights and car shows, and these cars are drivers. They, they're out all the time. They break a lot because you drive them a lot. Mm hmm. But that's what they're meant for. It's not if. It's when they break down. Yeah. 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 Sounds quite British. So. Well, well it's German. Yeah. Well, this was back. The impetus with the uh, microcar in Germany was very, very interesting after the war because, of course, nothing was available. See the gear shift on the side? That little lever, oh, you, that yes. little lever you pulled was what puts it in neutral. And then right next to the key switch are the two lights. Let's see the key One switch. One light is forward. If both lights come on, it's reverse. And it's got an airplane tiller. It's a style steering wheel. Mm-hmm. Willie Messerschmitt and Frank Flitz, I believe is how you pronounce it, got together to build this. That's why it looks like an airplane. And what is the lever on the extreme left? The is that the reserve the uh, tank? I don't know. What lever? Uh, there's a switch or a lever on the extreme left of the dash. Oh, that's the headlights. No, that's the turn signals. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. There's no, there's no battery in it. Yeah. I took the battery out. That's the turn signals. Hmm. Then the choke is up high. Mm -hmm. There's a parking brake. And that middle, that little light in the middle, that's the, that's the brake light. Mm -hmm. And then the parking lights, of course. I see you have a registered as motorcycle. Well, yeah, three wheels. three wheels. Yeah, yeah. The, and that tag is registered to it, that 55 tag. It's legal in Pennsylvania. Very good. Very good. The, uh, what is it like driving? Oh, like a, like a controlled crash. <laughs> it's just all over the road. It, it rides horrible. It bounces. Uh, you, 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 after a ride, you stink from the two-stroke oil. Uh, it's just nothing but fun. Sounds great. It's nothing but fun. Passenger sits behind you, mm -hmm. and uh, there's no room for nothing. So my wife has to hold coolers and or chairs and or whatnot when we go places. And it's just, it's a controlled crash. It's just... You get this thing. I've had this thing up to 55 miles an hour, and it's 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 old. downhill. On a level, gassing on it on a long straightaway. Uh, hold on. Now zero to 50 is in about time. Two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Time with the calendar. Yes, two weeks. <laughs> 
and once you get it rolling, it's uh, and then with the one wheel in the back is always that crown in the road. So no matter where you go, you're all over the road. You can't get you oh, can't get it smooth. It is just so much fun. It's unbelievable. I know you showed me the video of the maiden voyage. Yes, uh, it's just I I call it a controlled crash. That is just watching these things. It's just. It's, it's, it's like a Hoover vacuum cleaner driving down the road. Yes. It's so unusual because that very, very wide front end. The canopy, the canopy opens. Mm hmm. That's all I can open with the wall. And then usually, this is up, driver gets in, sits mm -hmm. down, then the passenger gets in. Jeez. Then the driver to get out, the passenger has to get out first. Oh my gosh. Because you have to. Because your feet are up in, up inside there. Right. Oh, that's right. And the and windows, I don't have them with me. There's just some two little plastic sliding windows. Uh -huh. I left them. I, I didn't bring them. Whew. This is this is absolutely mind-boggling seeing these girls. Eight-inch tires. Oh, jeez. Now, shock absorbers, does it have? Uh, uh, if that's what you want to call them. Okay. Why are they rubber bands or Well, friction? Just, they're not. They don't work very well. Okay. It's solid rubber. There's one shock in the back and then the, the uh, suspensions. Yeah. Ah. Oh. That is just... The experiences you must have with this girl is it's, just it's so crazy. The biggest problem you have is people running you over looking at you. Trying to, they run you off the road. Mm-hmm. Because when, they, when, they're, when they're driving and they go like this, the tendency is always to go that way. I've been up on sidewalks with the cars. Oh, geez. Because they're, they're running you off the road, trying uh -huh. to catch and take pictures of you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sure the iPhones were out constantly with that. The so. Restoration Magazine did an article on me and the Isetta. Uh-huh. And he, f I was on the expressway going to a place to take pictures, and he was behind me. And yeah. I had already interviewed me and told me, I told him about it. Uh-huh. And a guy put me right on his shoulder doing it. When we got there, he was laughing so hard, he says... I didn't, it's not that I didn't believe you, but I actually saw it. Yeah. And what's interesting is that here's a guy who's has interviews with, I'm sure, the most magnificent automobiles. He loves the little, he loves the yeah. Isetta. He wants to do an article on this now, too. Don't blame him. restoration magazine. Because this, this, this whole thing is, is this micro car concept, especially out of Europe, it, it was just, well, it's no unique. Metal, they had no steel, they, they had no gas, they had no money. Mm -hmm. this, and this was considered a motorcycle, so something about the taxes were cheaper on it. Yes. And uh, the MOT, they called it, and such. Mm -hmm. And even the Isetta, even though they made it three wheel, three wheel and a four wheel, even the four wheel though it was just cheaper to operate to run. One cylinder. The Isetta three wheeler is the um, Italian. That's, a, that's the British. No British. They oh, the... didn't import them. Okay. A friend of mine has one, unless someone sent them over themselves. My friend Carl has a three wheel Isetta. Okay, I didn't realize that the Brits had the Isetta also. Yes, the BMW made a three wheel. Huh. I don't know if Valam or ISO did. I'm not. I'm not sure yeah. on that. Yeah. So I remember those as being three wheel. All the uh, BMWs were four. Same with the no. The BMW they made a they made a three wheel. They did. And the same with the uh, Henkel. It was a three and a four wheel. My Henkel was a three wheel. Pretty cool. Now you also have the Google Mobile. I have a Google Mobile sed uh, uh, sedan, a '65. I get too many in a program. Of course. And I sold my '57 coupe. Ah. That is great. And it's just, uh, it's, it's, we're called micro nuts. Yes, yes. And they're just so much fun. The Gogomobile's a two cylinder, two stroke, the same thing. You can't breathe uh -huh. around it, and that's a four speed. <sighs> that is something else. Paul, I really appreciate the interview and the oh, time. Thank, thank you, I appreciate talking so, to you. So, this is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com. For more interviews and more information on the uh, microcars uh, exhibit, come on down to the AACA Museum in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Come see the microcars, Christmas decorations, and of course, other great cars. Make sure you check out southeastwheelsevents.com and ukwheelsevents.com and now globalwheelsevents.com. You want to say anything? Well, thank you. I, I've had a ball with it. Cool, cool. Thank you.